Hello, and welcome to our video on calculating areas. In this video, we will see how to use definite integrals to calculate areas of various regions in the plane. In high school, you must have seen formulas for finding areas of simple shapes, like a triangle or a trapezoid. But using integrals, we will be able to calculate areas of much more complicated regions. We will focus on the problem of finding the area of a region bounded by a graph of a function and the x-axis, and on finding the area of a region bounded by two different curves. But let's start with a quick review. Recall that the definite integral of a function f from a closed interval ab to r measures the signed area of the region between the graph of f and the x-axis over the interval AB. This means that regions above the x-axis are considered to be positive, and regions below the x-axis are considered negative. Also recall that if f and g are two continuous functions, and f is greater or equal than g on the interval that goes from a to b, then the region r between the graph of f and g has area equal to the integral f of x minus g of x dx from a to b. Now let's look at the following example. Find the area of the region bounded by the graph of f of x equals 2x plus 1 and the x-axis from x equals 4 to x equals 7. The graph of f is a straight line. Here's the graph and the region bounded between the graph and the x-axis from x equals 4 to x equals 7. Note that f is a positive function on that interval, and so the integral is expected to be positive and be equal to the area of the gray region. So the area is going to be equal to the integral of 2x plus 1 dx from 4 to 7. Using basic anti-differentiation rules, we get x squared plus x from 4 to 7 and after subbing in the values and computing the difference, we get 49 plus 7 minus 16 plus 4, which is equal to 36. And so the area of the gray region is 36. But there is another way. In this specific case, the region is a simple shape. It's a trapezoid. Let's mark its vertices by A, B, C, and D. Now, we can use the formula for the area of a trapezoid to calculate the area. The area of a trapezoid is equal to the sum of the bases, AD and BC, divided by 2, times the height of the trapezoid, CD in our example. Using the formula for the function F, we can compute AD and BC, and we get 15 plus 9, we divide by 2, and multiply by the height, cd, which is equal to 3. We end up, of course, with the same answer, 36. Now let's move on to another example. Compute the area of the region bounded by the graph of f of x equals 1 minus x squared and the x-axis from x equals 0 to x equals 2. Here, the function f is positive from 0 to 1 and negative from 1 to 2. And so we will have to split the region into two different parts and find the area of each part separately. So f is positive from 0 to 1, and therefore the area of region 1 is given by the integral of 1 minus x squared dx from 0 to 1. We integrate and get x minus x cubed over 3 from 0 to 1. We sub in the bounds and compute the difference and end up with 2 thirds. That's the area of region 1. Now f is negative from 1 to 2, and so if we just integrate the function on that interval, we will obtain a negative number. But the area has to be positive, and it will be equal to the absolute value of the integral from 1 to 2. So the area of region 2 is given by the absolute value of the integral 1 minus x squared dx from 1 to 2. 
we integrate and get the absolute value of x minus x cubed over 3 from 1 to 2. We sub in the bounds and again take the difference and get absolute value of negative 4 thirds. That is equal to 4 thirds. Our conclusion is that the total area of the gray region will be equal to the sum of the area of region 1 and the area of region 2. We get 2 thirds plus 4 thirds and that is equal to 2. So the total area is equal to 2. Now let's move on to example number 3. Calculate the area of the region bounded by the two graphs f of x, which is equal to x squared plus 2, and g of x, which is equal to the square root of x, from x equals 0 to x equals 2. Here we need to find the area of a region bounded between two graphs, and from the diagram we can see that f is always greater than g. And so the area between the two curves will be given as the integral of f of x minus g of x dx as x goes from 0 to 2. We sub in the functions and get the integral from 0 to 2 of x squared plus 2 minus x to the 1 half dx. Note that the function g, square root of x, was written here as x to the 1 half power. Now we integrate and we get x cubed over 3 plus 2x minus 2 thirds times x to the 3 over 2. And the bounds are 0 and 2. Now we need to sub in the bounds and compute the difference. If x is equal to 2, we get 8 over 3 plus 4 minus 2 thirds times the square root of 8. When x is equal to 0, then the whole expression will be 0. After simplifying, we get 20 minus 2 root 8 over 3, and that is the area of the shaded region. A few comments before we continue. In all the questions we have seen so far, the bounds of integration were given in the question. This might not always be the case. In some questions, you might need to identify the bounds of integration while setting up the integral. Moreover, in some of the more advanced exercises, you might need to use a combination of strategies to compute the required area. And finally, in some cases, we might need to integrate with respect to the variable y and not x. So let's summarize these three important remarks and then move on to some more examples. In some problems, the boundaries of an enclosed region are not given. You may need to draw a diagram or find points of intersection to identify the bounds. Sometimes, a combination of strategies is required to compute the area of an enclosed region. In some cases, it might be easier to integrate with respect to the y variable instead of x. What does that mean? Given two curves, if both of them can be expressed as a function of the variable y, say x equals f of y and x equals g of y, and if g of y is greater or equal than f of y for all y's between c and d, then the area between the curves is given by the integral from c to d of g of y minus f of y dy. Now let's move on to our next example. For f of x equals negative 3 quarters x plus 11 quarters and g of x equals 4 over x minus 2, find the area of the shaded region in the following diagram. If you look carefully at the diagram, you will see that parts of the region are between f and g, and other parts are between f and the x-axis. Also, part of the region is above the x-axis, and the other part is below the x-axis. So we decide to split the region into three different parts, and we will calculate the area of each part separately. To do that, we need to find the x-coordinate of the points A, B, C, and D. 
G and F have x-intercepts of 2 and 11 over 3, respectively. These can be found by setting F and G to 0 and solve for x. We need to find the points of intersection for F and G. These are the points A and D. This can be done by setting F equals G and solve for x. When we do that, we get the equation negative 3 over 4x plus 11 over 4 equals 4 over x minus 2. We rearrange and get the following quadratic equation. Negative 3x squared plus 19x minus 16 equals 0. This equation can be solved using the quadratic formula and we get two solutions, x equals 1 and x equals 16 over 3. And these are the x-coordinates of the points A and D. Now we can go ahead and calculate the areas. Region 1 is bounded between F and G. And so its area is given as the integral from 1 to 2 of F of x minus G of x dx. We sub in the functions and integrate. And we get negative 3 over 8 x squared minus 4 ln x plus 19 over 4 x from 1 to 2. Once we sub in the bounds and compute the difference and simplify, we end up with the number 29 over 8 minus 4 ln 2. Region 2 is bounded between the graph of f, which is positive on that interval, and the x-axis. And so the area of that region will be equal to the integral from 2 to 11 over 3 of f of x dx. We plug in the function and get the integral from 2 to 11 over 3, negative 3 quarters x plus 11 over 4 dx. We integrate to get negative 3 over 8 x squared plus 11 over 4 x from 2 to 11 over 3. And once we sub in the bounds and compute the difference, we end up with the number 25 over 24. And that's the area of region number 2. Finally, region 3 is bounded by the graph of f and the x-axis again, but now f is negative, and so the area will be equal to the absolute value of the integral of f of x dx, as x goes from 11 over 3 to 16 over 3. We plug in the function and integrate to get negative 3 over 8 x squared plus 11 over 4 x from 11 over 3 to 16 over 3, all in absolute value, and then plug in the numbers and compute the difference to get negative 25 over 24 in absolute value. This is equal to 25 over 24, and that's the area of region number 3. The total area will be, of course, equal to the sum of all the three areas that we computed. When we plug in all the values and simplify, we end up with negative 4 times ln 2 plus 137 divided by 24. Or we can use a calculator and conclude that the total area is approximately equal to 2.936. Now here's our last example. Compute the area of the region bounded by the two graphs, x equals y squared minus 2y, and x equals negative y squared plus 2y plus 6. The graphs of these two equations are parabolas, and we need to find the area of the region bounded between the two parabolas. As the equations are given in the form x equals to something in terms of y, it would be easier to use integration with respect to the y variable. But first, we need to find the points of intersection for both graphs. To do that, we write the equation y squared minus 2y equals negative y squared plus 2y plus 6 and simplify. We get a quadratic equation 2y squared minus 4y minus 6 equals 0, and we can use a quadratic formula to solve this equation and obtain the solutions negative 1 and 3. These are going to be the bounds of integration.
Now, as the x values on the red parabola are greater than the x values on the blue parabola for y's between negative 1 and 3, we need to subtract the blue parabola from the red parabola and then integrate. So the area of the region is given by the integral from negative 1 to 3 of negative y squared plus 2y plus 6 minus y squared minus 2y dy. We simplify and integrate and get negative 2 thirds y cubed plus 2y squared plus 6y and the bounds are negative 1 and 3. We plug in the bounds and compute the difference. We get negative 18 plus 18 plus 18 minus 2 thirds plus 2 minus 6. The final answer is 64 over 3 and that's the area of the shaded region. As you can see, the main challenge in calculating areas is setting up the correct integral. This will depend on whether the region is bounded by one graph and the x-axis or by two different curves. We may need to split the region into several parts and calculate the area of each part separately. Sometimes, integrating with respect to y is easier or more natural. You will need to practice in order to become better in choosing a suitable strategy and in setting up the correct integral. And you can start by working on the problems provided at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and good luck!